Everybody's positioned in time and in history to make a difference. And it's up to us as to whether or not that will become a reality. I began collecting art when I was a student at Howard University in the 1950s. That was an era when you were a doctor, you were a lawyer, you were top brass. But uh, talk about being an artist, you're not gonna make a living. But we had teachers at Howard who taught us how to make a living, how to make this thing work. And one of the things they said was, if you're gonna be an artist, you've gotta love art well enough to buy it, to invest in it. And not so much from the point of view of investing in the sense of money, but the cultural, the aesthetic investment, so that you can pass that on to somebody else. I think it's important to collect art because you feel that it's part and parcel of your lifestyle. And it debunks the notion that African Americans don't buy art. We do buy art. We buy what we like, but we buy art. I suppose my being an artist has helped to stamp my impression of what the curatorial process should be about because I knew what artists were going through. And the question of when is it finished? Well, there is no set answer. Uh, there's a feeling. Black art has a difficult task before it. It has to be made it has to be owned. It has to be widely disseminated in order to have an audience. I think there are some changes that are being made in diversity, inclusion, et cetera, in the art world, but it is still limited to those who want to see changes. For us to say that black artists are doing something so special that the world is gonna want means that there has to be a world of black people out there who are interested because the average white audience isn't. We've had to fight and fight to get it included in the so-called notion of what a canon in art is. One of the questions that I'm often asked is, what do I want my legacy to be? What will my legacy be? <laughs> I don't know what it will be. I want it to simply be that I saw the need to try and strengthen that area that we have omitted so much was the works by minority artists. I devoted my time, my life, to trying to help bring about that awareness.